All right, this is part three of Google Classroom uh, for music teachers self-grading assignments. In this particular um, episode, it's gonna be really short. Uh, I just wanna show you how I use Google Forms um, to uh, assign an assignment like a do now for my students. And, um, and then in another video, I'll show you how to make a self grading Google form. All right. So I just hit assignment here. I go in, I name it, uh, do now number 21 tonic chords. Okay. Um, this is a do now that I've already created. My kids are learning ukulele. So this is something, um, something that I teach them tonic, the one, the four, we go over this together. Um, so it's something that I've created in the past. So I'm going to go to my drive and then I'm just going to search for it. I can either, you know, type it in or go to the exact folder that I know it's in. I'm going to type it in number 21. See what pops up here. There it is tonic cord. Yeah, there's only one tonic cord, right? So I don't need an S there. Okay. Um, this is what I was talking about before locked mode on Chromebook. If I click on that, the students cannot leave the, the, the screen until it's submitted. If they leave the screen, I will get an email notification saying that the student has logged out and logged back in, which will send a red flag to me. Okay. Um, I'm not going to lock it because, uh, well, Yeah, I'm not gonna lock it. Sorry. I'm gonna click grade importing. This is really cool. And I'll show you why. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna do a due date, uh, topic. This is something new, originality reports. It's just another way um, you can see how students are doing overall in your class. It's something new that's literally just been added this year to Google Classroom. All right, I'm gonna delete this just because I have another one I wanna show you. But of course I would hit assign or um, schedule or save as draft, whatever I want. But I'm gonna just delete it for now. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna go into this one. This is major scales. So this is what it looks like for the students, right? View assignment, they'll see this, they'll click on that, they'll do the assignment, they'll submit it and finish it when they're done, all right? So this is a Google form that I've created they fill out their name, their period, and I can show you how to do this on the next video. I'm just going to hit any answer here, submit, um, and then when they're done, they hit submit, and it'll automatically send it to me. Now, when I go in here as the teacher, I can click on student work, and I can hit import grades, which is so awesome. I hit that, and the assignment is immediately self-graded. And it tells me how each student has done. The reason why some are black and some are green is because the ones that are green, I haven't submitted back to the kids yet, which means they're probably not in my grade book yet. But a cool thing is I can sort, you know, the status, uh, meaning whether it's done or not, sort by last name, sort by first name. Obviously, last name is more beneficial. Uh, in our grade book because everything is done by last name. This says done late, the student was absent and it was a makeup assignment. Um, and then I have all my grades here. I see how the kids did. Another thing that's really cool on Google Forms um, is I can go to um, edit the assignment and I can go to responses and I can see how students are doing overall on these assignments. All right, so on average, the kids got almost five or six questions out of seven. That's not bad. The median is seven, so most of the kids got a 100. All right, that's really awesome. I can kind of scroll down and see which questions the kids got. I mean, out of, a, out of 118 students, 104 got question one correct. I mean, that's awesome that I can see that right away. Let's say it was reverse. Let's say three kids got it correct. Then I would know, hey, 
I think I need to reteach and harmonics. So this is really great. I can see right away who's doing well, who's not doing well, uh, and so on and so forth. Okay. So, um, 10 kids, you know, seven kids, but picked this. This is really, really darn cool. Um, you know, this was like a trick question. I always ask them how many different notes are in a scale. Uh, number one and number eight are obviously the same do and do, right? Your first scale degree and your last scale degree are the same. So this kid, these four kids didn't even read the question. I mean, I can tell just by reading that. Um, so I'm not even looking at them. That might be special ed students. That might be, I don't know, I'd have to go in and double check, but uh, I can rest assured that I, I taught this well. Or maybe I need to review it because uh, 19 kids still don't get it. All right. This one is a little bit more positive, right? Kids remembered that my half steps in a major scale are between scale degrees three and four and seven and eight. All right. Um, the other ones were obviously tricks. Okay. And so that's really, really cool. All right. Um, so in the next video, I will show you how to make a Google form and make it self graded. They are really awesome. And then since uh, everything on Google is connected, like you saw, you can upload it through Drive and um, self grade it, which is just really, as music teachers, we have so many students. This really cuts down on um, our workload. Um, is it a lot of work to create these Google Forms? Yes. But guess what? I teach major scales every year. I teach note naming every year. So for me, it's worth it. For me, it's worth it. And then I have them forever. All right. I hope you enjoy. Come check out the next video on Google Forms.